Now let's look at key quotations relating to Sheila Berling's character. Now arguably out of all the characters in this play who come across the inspector and of course learn about Eva Smith slash Daisy Renton's deaths, Sheila is arguably one of the characters that experiences the most profound change. She goes from being very sheltered, very selfish, also quite jealous, to actually having a social conscience and also seeing the role that people like her have and the power that people like her have in affecting change in society. Now, her quotations are really, really powerful because what you want to do is you want to really zone in on this notion that Sheila Burling represents the possibility that the younger generation have to change society. Now, the first quotation to focus on with Sheila Burling's character is when she's talking about and reflecting on her actions towards Eva Smith when she encounters her at Millward's shop. She's quite jealous of her because she states she was a very pretty girl too, dot dot dot. I couldn't be sorry for her. Now in terms of word level analysis you want to focus on the adjective pretty and what this shows is that Sheila felt really really insecure about her appearance and also quite jealous of Eva Smith's beauty hence she used her influence in order to punish Eva Smith for having this beauty. The only one thing that Eva Smith had whilst Sheila had all of this material possession, all of this material wealth. The one little thing that Eva Smith had, which was better than Sheila uh, Berling, Sheila Berling decided to punish that, okay? And of course, what this shows is the heavy and excessive power that the middle classes and upper classes have over poor women like Eva Smith. The second quotation to bear in mind is when she is really angry at her father's treatment and viewpoint on Eva Smith and she states, these girls aren't cheap labor, they're people. And here, what you want to focus on in terms of word level analysis is the nouns, girls and people, and even this is arguably collective nouns. Moreover, the adjective cheap, which is describing cheap labor, here she's really disgusted at how her father sees Eva Smith and women like her in a very diminutive and very limited way. She actually humanizes Eva Smith and she tells her father that she he needs to look at someone like Eva Smith as a human being, not an object that can be used and tossed aside after he's done with them in his factory and in his business. The third quotation we want to focus on is actually we find that she has completely transformed by the end of the play and she's really angry, particularly at her mother and father, who she says, you don't seem to have learned anything, okay? And here you want to focus on the pronoun you when she's talking to her parents. She's very accusatory towards them in terms of word level analysis. And also you want to focus on this declarative sentence. Bear in mind that a declarative sentence is a sentence that states a fact feeling or mood. So here she's basically used a dis dis declarative sentence to show that there are people in upper class and middle class society at the time in Edwardian society who really were reluctant to change and Sheila is disgusted at that. The fourth and final quotation which actually comes from a little bit earlier in the play when she actually realizes the role that she played in Eva Smith's suicide is when she feels when she shows that she feels very self-recriminatory. She says I know I'm to blame and I'm desperately sorry and this is such a massive contrast to the way she was initially. She would call her mother mummy, she was seen as very pleased with life, very very naive and actually here we can see from this utterance and especially word level analysis you want to focus on the pronoun I, I'm and of course I'm is repeated and desperately this adjective. What this shows is this massive character transformation in Sheila. She realizes the role that she has to play in the suffering that she contributes to the poor women in society and poor working class women. But of course, on the other hand, Priestley uses her as a character to give us hope, to show the ability that the younger generation have to change society for the better. So that's it when it comes to Sheila Burling's uh, key characters and, uh, and of course the word level analysis that you need to do for her character in the play.